And, uh, welcome uh, to the uh, journey, journey through the world of helical piles. And today we've got a guest um, from our headquarters in Tedford Mines, Quebec, Jérôme Chablet. He's one of our uh, professional engineers, geotechnical structural professional engineers. And um, we're going to go through a quick little presentation here. We only got a half an hour, so we'll be going pretty quickly. And it's essentially just going through just the, the, the basics and the fundamental principles of uh, helical pile technology. Thank you. So, uh, hi everybody. Um, where does it work? Okay, so uh, our agenda for today. Um, first, I want to explain to you, uh, maybe some of us already know what is a helical pile. You have some models here. Um, but I want to show you what, mainly what how it works, uh, what we can do, uh, what are the standards, principle of this uh, technology. Uh, I'll show you some pictures, some information about our installation equipment. Um, relationship between torque and load bearing capacity, so that's the basis of a helical pile. Load test standards, uh, I have a lot of pictures of a helical pile application, so you'll see some residential, commercial uh, applications and uh, what's on our website for technical information. So we'll start. Um, so helical pile, so you see it's, uh, that's, these are samples, so usually they come in 7 footer or 10 footer length uh, piles, so mainly that's a steel, steel shaft, round HSS uh, steel shaft. And you have a welded helix uh, on each pile where you can screw the, the, the pile in so you don't have any digging, so no, no excavation. Uh, it's ready to build, uh, no concrete with these uh, foundation. So I just want to show you how, how it works. So you have the pile with the helix. So what, what we do with these products, so we uh, we have a pile layout before we start the job and we drill the pile in until we reach a good layer of soil. So on each machine we have an indicator, a pressure indicator, uh, which gives us a torque correlation. So how the, the pile works, how the bearing capacity works with, with the helical pile is that as soon as you get more torque, on your installation equipment, you have more bearing capacity on your pile. So, um, so depending on the load you need to uh, to support, you have to drill down uh, more or less. Uh, should be 1.5 meters, so five feet, and we can go some on some projects, some big commercial projects. We we can reach more than 100 footer deep uh, piles. Helical pile, so um, it's not a, a patented product. So it was uh, invented by a, an Irish engineer, so almost 200 years ago. So that's, that's not a new product, but since, I would say since 20, 25 years, we want to have this product more and more used for residential applications. So it was uh, well known for commercial, uh, commercial jobs. Uh, industrial jobs in the uh, gas industry and things like that, solar, solar energy. Uh, but now we want to have these products used in, uh, in residentials for smaller applications. So uh, it, came, it came from uh, this, uh, this type of structure where, where the, the first structure is supported by helical pies. Um, so for our company, um, now we have some accreditation. So uh, we have a, an accreditation in Canada with the, the CCMC. So this one, we're also approved in, uh, in the US with the, with the ICC for our uh, P3 pile. Uh, we're certified uh, ISO 9001. And uh, we have some certification. And uh, so these are certifications for friends and uh, England and we're also all, yeah, all the products are certified uh, from the CWB for all the all the welding we, we do in uh, in the manufacturer and on the, the job site. Advantages, advantages for helical pies so as I said uh, you just have to drill the piles in so there's no excavation 
uh, it's guaranteed against frost heaving. So you have also on all the all the pies the, you have the green sleeves which protects the the pies to go to go up when the the soils get or, or when the soils want to grab the the pile shaft. So it, the the pile won't move even there is a four or five foot of a uh, of frost. Uh, there's no need for on-site inspection. Um, can be removed and reinstalled if it's a temporary uh, project or temporary structure. Um, can have access with a on a 29 inch uh, width. So our smallest machine is a 29 uh, inch, uh, pretty small. Can pass into a, a standard door. Uh, installation is quick and easy. Uh, no problem with high water table and no problem for uh, Winster installation. So these are our three installation equipment. Uh, we mainly use this one, so the smallest one, the R2D machine and the EM1 machine for uh, residential jobs. When we're doing a bigger commercial industrial jobs, we're, doing, uh, we're using the EM1 and the ET1 machine. Uh, if you go at our booth, uh, we have the EM1 machine uh, inside, the, inside the show so you can, uh, you can see uh, what it looks like. So we have different machines for different applications, different, uh, different types of load to, uh, to support. Uh, this one's uh, another small video just to show you. Uh, a little bit so you, you see the so the the pile are going in uh, by drilling so uh, that's our selection table so it's on a, it's on a, our website um, mainly for uh, engineers and architects who want to uh, to uh, put some specifications on their drawings so you have all this information on the website. Uh, we also have an uh, in-house uh, engineering services. So when you need some information about the products, you can directly call us at the, at the head office. You can also call uh, the dealers in, uh, in Toronto. So relationship between torque and load bearing capacity. So um, that's the basis of a uh, of helical pile. This is the ultimate uh, bearing capacity. And uh, so mainly how it works, as I said, as soon as you get more torque on your pile installation, you have more uh, bearing capacity. So uh, um, I won't go uh, too much in that, in that part. Um, this is an extract from our CCMC uh, report. So you see you have different, different applied torque uh, in newton meters or foot pounds and different compression or tension allowable loads. So as you see, if the, the, if the applied torques increase, the compression, compression loading or compression uh, capacity uh, increase uh, at the same time. So single helix system, uh, as you can see here, uh, we can do multiple helix systems, so sometimes if we need, if we have bad soils or um, loose sand, clay soils, we can use double, triple uh, helix on, the, on one pile, so there's different, different way to get the, the bearing, uh, minimum bearing capacity for, uh, for a pile. Uh, I'll let uh, Darren uh, speak about, talk about a, a little bit about the brackets. Obviously, there are many different types of applications uh, using a helical pile system. And with that as well is we have different types of brackets you can use as well. And really, depending on the application, we can obviously offer some of our custom brackets. But we can also work with you as well as developing a custom bracket for specific applications. So I just kind of just want to go through the different types here. This is what we would call would be an adjustable system. So this one, is if you have like a low beam that's low to the ground, um, and you're looking to get real fine adjustment, you can use an adjustable system. And as well as you've got, which would be our fixed system. 
Um, but as well as if you're ever getting into, which Jerome will get more into detail as well in a presentation in some of the pictures. Um, if you're ever doing uh, grade beam designs, encapsulating our pile into a grade beam design, we've got flat plates with welded rebars that you can use as well, vertical, horizontal, and so on. So um, through the presentation at any time, if there's any questions with regards to some of the different brackets, by all means, we can talk more into detail about that. So that was about the, the brackets. So and. Just remember that we, we can manufacture everything you, uh, you need or you, you, you need on your project. So these are standard size, but uh, if you need higher, higher top plates, thicker, uh, it's all things we can uh, manufacture. So all custom brackets. Um, so these are the uh, uplift, uh, like uplift uh, capacity brackets. Um, all our steel is, uh, all the pile shaft are ASTM A500 uh, grade C, uh, like 51 KSI uh, yield strength. Uh, all the helix, all top plates are uh, CSA J40.21. As I said, all the welding is uh, approved uh, by the CWB. Uh, we're in division two, actually. So as I, uh, for, so these are samples. Usually, as I said, piles are seven, seven footer long. Uh, if you need to go 20 feet deep because you have some loose soil, so we can weld some extensions on top of that. So all our, uh, all our extensions uh, like are, are welded on the site. All the welders on the site are CWB approved. And that, that made the pile like continuous, no, uh, and there, there's no, uh, let's say, no, no shaking on the, on the connection uh, between the pile and, uh, and the extensions. Piles can be hot dip galvanized. Uh, they can be uh, black steel, so non-galvanized steel, so depending on what you're doing uh, with your project. Uh, load test standards, so we've done in the past let's see, in the past 20 years, we've done a lot of load tests uh, on different types of projects. So uh, we've done compressive load tests, uh, tensile load tests, and lateral load tests. So that's provide us lots of data uh, to be able to design uh, our, our pies for future projects. Um, and we also, we also do some, depending on, on the size of the project, we can do load tests uh, on a specific project, uh, different types. I have some pictures later. So that's a, this one's a, a small compression load test. Um, so tension load test, uh, similar to the, to the compression load test. So in this case, so we test this pile and uh, we use a hydraulic jack to, to put some load on the on the pile, see what's the displacement of the pile depending on the load we uh, we put on it, and that's uh, that's a lateral uh, load test. Uh, so, if you have a specific project, uh, we need some information to uh, to provide you the the good type of pile. So uh, we need to know what's the project type. That's mainly for uh, residential jobs. So is it a sunroom, a deck, a uh, covered deck, whatever. Uh, we need foundation plans with dimensions, uh, number of piles. So sometimes we can help you out with the, the number of piles, validating the, the spacing between the piles. Uh, we can do that for you. Uh, load to support when it's known and uh, additional information. So if you have information about type of soil, if you have geotechnical report, if you know there's some backfill, that's all information you can provide to the dealers to help them uh, figure uh, what, what kind of pies they will, uh, they will use. So high water table, that's a good point too, and uh, liquefiable uh, soil, so that's uh, more for uh, bigger projects. So when we start the project, so before you start the projects, we, we usually provide you shop drawings that are stem, signed and stems by uh, P-Engineer from uh, our head office. 
So the, the shop drawings will specify the type of pile, they specify the loads, and we all always include our CCMC approval in that, uh, in that document. So if there's any particular specifications, uh, it will be mentioned in that uh, document. Once the project is done, so we provide you a conformity report, sign and stamp. So uh, how it works is our uh, dealers are all certified, so they all have a training in our uh, head office, and they uh, they will they will do the job. They will send us a, a field report, and we validate that the the field report is good, that the pies have been installed uh, properly, and once that is done, we can provide you with the the conformity report to be sure that. Uh, you won't have any problem on your uh, on your job. Uh, now I have some uh, different pictures showing you uh, different applications, residential, commercial, and recreational. Uh, so residential, as I said, so we do. So the pies are a little bit small in this one. Uh, you have uh, pies for a deck, uh, house additions. So stairs, stairs or elevated decks, that's all uh, uh, cabanas, so different uh, carports, fences, so on. So you will see there's a lot of application. Uh, as soon as you need a foundation, you can use helical piles. Depending on the loads you have to support, we will change the, the helix size or the, the pile shaft diameter, but uh, like everything can be uh, supported on uh, on helical pies. Uh, house, solar panels. Uh, so this one was a uh, so existing uh, existing slab where we we had to uh, to put a I think a deck or a, um, on it so we can just drill a small hole into the concrete and then drill the pies in so you can uh, fit your uh, your deck or your roof uh, over that. Uh, retaining walls. Uh, that's in Toronto where uh, we, we need to uh, address the tree protection zone. So when you can't excavate, uh, we can uh, provide a solution with the, with the pile. Uh, deck repairs. So that's the, the smallest machine. So on this one, we just remove some uh, some planks, drill the piles in, and uh, we can uh, support the, car, the the deck. Uh, so different equipment support. Uh, that's uh, garages or pole barn uh, inside a building. So we're doing a lot of. Uh, mezzanine like that where uh, you already have an existing concrete slab and you can just put the pies in, put your uh, columns on it and uh, build your, uh, your mezzanine on top of that. Uh, barns, uh, so deep home foundation, so if the soil is too bad just to have a standard footing so we can drill piles in uh, before you pour your uh, your footing, and we we support the we support the residents with the with the piles. So these are the custom top plates we can uh, manufacture uh, for uh, applications with great beams or or uh, footings. Uh, so underpinnings for houses that have settled or that have problem of uh, yeah, settlement, some cracks in the foundations, we can provide solutions for uh, underpinnings, uh, releveling uh, foundations. Uh, Multi-story building. So we've done, um, we've done some buildings for four stories. So four, I would say four or five stories is the maximum uh, uh, size of building we, we've done in uh, in the last years, uh, because usually when when you go bigger than that, the loads are too uh, too big and uh, it takes too much piles. But uh, this this kind of building can be supported on our uh, helical pile. Uh, so that's a, a sound barrier wall. In this case, the piles are uh, 10, 10 and three quarter 
inch diameter, so they are pretty pretty big to support a lateral load from uh, from wind. Uh, that's the construction of the wall, and that's the final result. Uh, we do some decontamination, so uh, soil decontamination, so we can support the foundations, and um, the excavator can come in and just dig out the the bad soil and uh, put back the some good soil. Uh, shoring, stabilizations, uh, tie backs. So these were installed, so the piles on this picture were installed behind the existing walls. And we, uh, we welded a, a plate to be connected with the, the existing concrete wall. Uh, temporary buildings, uh, bollards, street lights, So like this, uh, monuments, boardwalks. So we do a lot of boardwalks. Um, one advantage we have is like the, the machines are, are pretty small, so we don't disturb all the soil. And uh, all the machine works with uh, um, like natural oil, uh, ve vegetable vegetable oil. So um, so it's a, let's say it's a environmentally friendly. Uh, this one is near, uh, maybe you can <laughs> talk about it a little bit. Uh, so another boardwalk. Yep. Doesn't, okay. Uh, bridge, so small bridge. Uh, this one's on pile two. This one's in, uh, that's a bigger bridge uh, for a uh, snowmobile uh, in northern Ontario. So shade structure. Uh, so this one, yeah, that's another shade structure. Signs. Uh, seasonal domes. Uh, so I think we're doing one in uh, Mississauga, a couple of months. So on this, on this one, the big issue is because of this dome, there's a lot of uh, uplift loads on the piles. So the contractor, so we install the piles all around the perimeter of the domes. They pour a concrete, concrete grade beam on top of the piles and uh, once they, they inflate the domes, uh, our piles support the uplift loads from the, from the dome. So there was maybe 100, 150, 200 piles under, the, under this. Uh, stairs. So, on this one, so you see, there's a, a pretty big slope, but with we can that's kind of jobs we can do with uh, with our uh, installation equipment. This one was pretty uh, steepy too, so uh, it was a 40 degree angle slope, and uh, we. We, we, we have been able to, to do this job with, uh, with our machine. Uh, solar, solar panels. And uh, so, so that's mainly, a, let's say, a, a brief, uh, I showed you some, some of applications, but there's a, there's a lot more. Uh, if you want to have some more pictures, you can go on our websites where you will find uh, all the applications for different situations. Uh, there's also uh, a part, uh, a, more, a more technical part where you have a selection table, uh, the information about our installation equipment, uh, you have some technical drawings uh, like AutoCAD DWG drawings, uh, information about our certifications, uh, so lots of, uh, of information. If you need more information, so uh, as I said, you can contact us directly at the office. You can contact um, our dealers. Uh, we have dealers actually all around Canada, so uh, we're, we're covered all around Canada. And um, yeah, that's mainly uh, yeah, that, that's mainly the presentation.